time to update my top 5 mini PCs for 2024. So far, I've tested a bunch of minis in the last few months, and if you've seen one of my reviews, you'll know they're pretty comprehensive with many hours of testing. I only make recommendations based on minis I've actually reviewed, and compared against each other, using plenty of data. Yep, charts, charts, and more charts. This year, the winners are separated into five categories based on what they do really well, so the countdown doesn't mean that a mini is better than the previous one. I'll mention each winner's price at the time of this video, but pricing changes regularly based on sales and coupons. One more important thing I need to mention is that a large portion of my income comes from affiliate sales and allows me to keep this independent mini PC review channel going. So, if you are planning to buy a mini PC, or anything else on Amazon, I would very much appreciate it if you use my affiliate links in the video description. I've also got international links where possible. Thanks for your support in advance. Oh, and you'll also find the link to the full review for each winner in the video description. With all that out of the way, we'll get into it right after this message. Ease Us To Do Backup Home is an award-winning backup solution to keep your data safe. Backup, clone, upgrade, or transfer your system easily, and protect it from ransomware. To Do Backup Home even supports backing up to the cloud. Trial it for free with a link in the video description. The best cooling category winner goes to the Minis Forum NAB9, which really impressed me with how it managed to tame its powerful CPU without a lot of fan noise. It's also great value to boot. Starting at $350 US for the bare bones DIY option, you'll need to bring your own memory, storage, and operating system, or if you want a plug and play build, the 512GB storage and 32GB memory model comes with Windows 11 Home and can be had for $470, US which isn't bad either. The NAB9 includes Intel's i9-12900HK, a powerful top-tier CPU from yesteryear with OK graphics capabilities. It's all housed in a nice metal case with plastic top and bottom lids. Another cool feature is the nice and compact power supply that's included which I hope all mini PC manufacturers will adopt in the near future. While USB 4 is missing on the NAB9, the port selection is still pretty impressive, with dual 2.5 gigabit LAN, a bunch of USB ports, and the ability to run four displays at the same time. It's super easy to open, and you can add a 2.5 inch SATA storage drive on top of the Gen 4 NVMe SSD. But what impressed me most is the low fan noise, the cooling solution on this Mini holds up really well, even with such a powerful CPU. The NAB9 performs really well with minimal thermal throttling under load. It's a great Mini PC for productivity and content creation, including 4K video editing. It'll also make for a really powerful home server. The downsides are the unimpressive gaming performance and lack of USB 4 port, but for everything else, it's a really nice option. So well done to Minis Forum for taking the best cooling category with the NAB9. The best value mini PC hasn't changed since the previous top 5. Yep, it's back. The B-Link Sur 5 5560U is pretty hard to beat in value for $240, even in 2024. If you just need a home office PC for browsing the web, watching YouTube, or maybe even some light gaming, Look no further. What you get for the money is impressive. 16GB of DDR4 memory and a 500GB NVMe drive, which even has some basic cooling. Need more storage? There's a 2.5 inch SATA expansion bay. While it's no speed demon compared to the high end mini PCs out there, the 6 core AMD Ryzen 5560U processor in this box fits plenty of usage cases and kicks the cheaper Intel N100 minis right in the butt for most workloads. Build quality is fine for the price, and there's a decent set of ports. But while all that is great, what you really love is that it's super quiet compared to most mini PCs out on the market, and uses very little electricity, with a peak power draw of just 50 watts. And for the parents looking for a cheap, simple gaming box for games such as Roblox or Minecraft, this mini PC will handle them no problem. 
B-Link Sur 5 5560U is a mini PC that can replace your aging giant home office desktop without breaking the bank. So if you don't need a speed demon and just want something that's really good value, inexpensive and quiet, then I highly recommend this popular seller once again. Great job B-Link on winning the best value category with the Sur 5 5560U. B-Link Sur 7 Mini PC wins the best features category with an impressive port selection and premium design. The mostly metal case is excellent and the design looks great. There are three USB-C ports with two of them being USB 4 along with HDMI, DisplayPort, 2.5 gigabit LAN and two audio jacks. Almost everything you could want. Inside is a Gen 4 NVMe storage drive with space for a second one and this cooling which covers both storage and memory. On top of all that, there's a new magnetic power plug. I'm not a fan of it, but it is interesting. So, that's some of the features. But what about its performance? Well, the B-Link Sur 7 is a top-end mini PC featuring the Ryzen 7840HS and performs really well. It's available for 579 US dollars. For that, you get a one terabyte NVMe drive bundled with 32 gigabytes of memory and also get to enjoy some of the fastest integrated graphics available, thanks to AMD's Radeon 780M. The Sur 7 is a good option for those times when size matters most, but you still want to be able to game, as it can handle most titles out on the market at 1080p low settings with decent frame rates. It's a great looking premium metal box that gets most things right. Fan noise could always be lower, but the performance, build quality, and top-notch feature set for the dollars makes B-Link Sur 7 still one of the standout mini PCs out there. I highly recommend it, and congratulations to B-Link for taking out the best feature category. Raytan's Alloy 9 impressed me on many levels. It's the best performing mini PC around this size I've tested, thanks to its powerful Ryzen 9 7940HS CPU. Having a powerful CPU is one thing, but being able to cool it properly so it actually performs is another, and the Alloy 9 did great there as well. And the final clincher which helped it secure the best performance category is that fan noise is lower than many competitor mini PCs, especially if you run it on the default power mode, which only loses a small amount of CPU performance. The Alloy 9 looks great with its metal shell and gives off some premium Apple-like vibes. Coming in at around $629 US dollars for the one terabyte SSD, 32 gigabyte memory combo, it's not cheap, but it is the top performer in nearly all my tests. There's a couple of USB 4 ports on the front and the back has another four USB 3 10 gigabit. This one includes cooling for the memory and storage with a fan and chunky heatsink like the best minis on the market. And if you need even more storage, there's a second M.2 Gen 4 NVMe slot. One thing I didn't like is that the included storage drive is only Gen 3. The power supply could also be smaller. Neither of which is a deal breaker, but something that will hopefully be improved with a future model. In any case, if you want the best performing mini that's around 4x4 inch in size, then this is it. So congrats to Raytan on winning the best performance category with the Alloy 9. If you want to really game on a mini PC, you need to go bigger. The Mini's Forum HX99G increases the size of the traditional mini PC by a large margin, but it also brings some real gaming power to go along with it. Starting from $650 US for the bare bones or $820 for the pre-build, the HX99G is not only powerful thanks to its Radeon 6600M or 6650M dedicated graphics chip, but also presents good value. The pre-build comes with a 1TB NVMe SSD and 32GB of memory. Gaming performance is far ahead of any of the smaller mini PCs with integrated graphics, and this mini can comfortably play games at 1080p with higher detail settings and frame rates. The port selection is generous with plenty of USB ports, and you have the ability to run four displays at the same time as well. Cooling is handled by two fans with seven copper heat pipes, and that translates to temps and fan noise being kept low, even under load. 
You can place the HX99G vertically using the stand provided or horizontally on a desk. But either way, I think it's an aesthetically challenged mini PC. Opening it up isn't fun either, with glued on rubber to be removed before you have access to the screws. I'd like to see a complete redesign of the box in the future. More importantly though, is that the HX99G provides a good gaming bang for buck experience and is a great option if you want something that's smaller than a desktop PC but still has some gaming power to go with it. So well done to Minis Forum for taking the best gaming category with the HX99G. So there we have it, that's my top 5 mini PCs in 2024 so far. If any of those interest you, I've got the full review linked in the video description and just a friendly reminder that your support keeps the channel going. So I'd very much appreciate it if you use my affiliate links when purchasing. Also, I have an upcoming top 5 budget mini PC video in the pipeline for minis under 250 US dollars and when it's published, it'll be available right here. Cheers!